Hello, I'm Mrs Bishop and I'm Head of Languages here at Salvin College and I'm just going to talk to you about preparation for the, um, for the PPEs and the changes that have happened to, for the GCSE for next year. So there have been some changes made um, to the summer 2021 exams in languages. The biggest change is that the 9 to 1 GCSE grade will be based on paper 1 which is listening, paper 3 which is reading and paper 4 which is writing and all of those three skills will be equally weighted. <clears throat> um, speaking will be reported alongside the 9 to 1 grade in the form of an endorsement um, with students gaining either a pass, merit or distinction but it's important um, for you to know that the speaking will not count towards the final 9 to 1 GCSE grade. Um, the format of the exam papers will remain the same except that on paper 4, the writing exam, students will have a choice of three questions rather than the usual two on the 90 word and the 150 word written task. <clears throat> In order to give students time to read this extra question, um, the length of both foundation and higher tier writing exams has been extended by five minutes. Um, there are no controlled assessments for French, German and Spanish. Uh, we're still waiting for further um, announcements from the exam board as to what, and what will have to be um, done in the speaking endorsement and we will let students know about this as soon as we are made aware. In terms of the curriculum, um, for French students are currently studying the topic of school from theme 3 and once it is finished all 12 GCSE topics will have been covered. After the November um, PPEs, students will be revisiting the topics taught in years 9 and 10 with a particular focus on the topics of poverty um, from global issues and health from social issues which were covered during lockdown. In German, all the subtopics from themes 1 and 2 have been taught already and um, now we are covering the topics of school, education, post-16 and jobs. Those are the ones that are left, left to teach in German. In Spanish, in year 11, um, students started by covering the topic of technology from theme one, and they're currently studying the subtopic of poverty and homelessness from global issues in theme two. And after that, they will be studying the topics of education, post 16, um, and jobs, careers, and ambitions from theme three. Once all of the topics from the three themes have been taught, um, students will do general revision um, to include vocabulary, grammar and all the skills which are tested. So I'm now going to talk about the PPE content and how students can best prepare for the PPEs. So in November the PPEs will consist of three exams, so listening, reading and writing and the format will be identical to that of the GCSE exams in summer 2021. The best way to prepare for the listening and the reading exams is to revise vocabulary regularly, ideally on a daily basis. We always say that with language learning, the best approach is little and often, i.e. short bursts of vocabulary learning, but on a regular basis. All students have a student guide, which contains all the vocabulary AQA will use in the summer 2021 exams. Um, before the November PPEs, we're going to do a 30 day vocab challenge and we're challenging Year 11 students to learn five words every single day. There are various ways of learning vocabulary and each student will need to identify the way which works for them best. These are listed on the top tip study cards, but the websites of memorise.com, quizlet.com and senecalearning.com are particularly useful. On all three exam papers, there will be some questions written in the target language and it is essential that students learn the question words in order to understand what questions are asking them to do. In order to prepare for the writing exam, students must ensure that they can use the past, present and future timeframes accurately, that they can use a variety of vocabulary and structures, and that they can give opinions um, also with justifications on the higher tier. If students don't already have a copy of the Purple Pearson Revision Workbook, we strongly recommend buying it as it contains lots of practice questions on all the topics and skills. 
Um, so, um, in the run-up to the PPEs, we'll, we will be offering some booster sessions for German and students will have been notified if we would like them to attend. Um, if, however, students um, from, um, from Spanish or French feel that they would benefit from an extra boost, then they can, of course, speak to their language teacher, who will be more than happy to support them in any way that they can. Thank you.